we don't really have control over much. Recently, I've just, after I've been in this kind of like down period, you know, I was kind of questioning what I was doing these videos for, you know, what I was going to do with this, what I was going to do with my life, you know, where am I going to go, that sort of thing. And you know, it's a big question to kind of answer, you know, especially when you're young and you don't have a lot of experience. And you're kind of like, oh, should I do this thing or, or is the grass greener on the, other on, on, the, on the other side or should I continue with what I'm doing? And I've realized that we don't really have much control over, you know, how we were brought up, what sort of things we were naturally drawn to, how we look, you know, like what sort of hair we have, how tall we are, what our body kind of looks like or how our body is more geared towards. We can't really control that and we can't really control the future either. Like... I've tried it before, you know, when I went over to, to play soccer and do uni, I thought, you know, I'll just get through this, you know, I'll find my way and that it'll work out and, you know, everything will kind of fall into place. And then you realise like, oh, I haven't really changed, I'm still kind of the same person and I realised that I was chasing the wrong thing, I was chasing what someone else wanted for me, what other people had pushed for me, not what I wanted. And it made me realise like, oh... I've just come to the realization recently that I don't have control over much, you know, like my moods have been down recently and it's kind of like, oh, I can listen to that and kind of see where it's coming from and try and study it, you know, because it's coming up for a reason, you know, emotions are like signals that they, and they come up for a reason, you know, it's not like they just come up for nothing, you know, and in the past, well, even now I still find myself reacting to these emotions and having trying to fix them and trying to get them out of the way straight away you know and it doesn't really work you know over time things start to work less and less and then you realize oh I'm still kind of feeling bad even though I'm doing this and then this makes me kind of feel worse trying to mitigate this in like the short term you know with food with um, watching YouTube all the time and just all these things and yeah, it just made me realize, you know, like, oh, I only have control over what I have now, you know, like, I can't control what happens, how quickly I grow muscle, how I feel about eating this food, how I feel about doing this thing. Um, all I have control over is like my body now. And it's kind of a weird realization because, you know, I can look in the past and see, oh, these things got me here, these things brought me this. You know, but it may not bring me that in the future. You know, all I can do is try and just do my best in these moments because that's all that I really have. And that's just what I wanted to kind of say, you know, we only have like these moments. So in the end, that's all we have is the present moment and it's always moving and it's always changing. And all we can control is ourselves in the present moment. We can't control what other people think, what other people do, how well, how well our YouTube videos do. But we can control our actions and I guess it gives us some sort, of, some sort of control in this like crazy world where it's like you, if you go, if you realize and you look into it for long enough, like I have, you just realize, oh, I don't really have control over much things at all. You know, how people perceive things, what actually has an impact. And yeah, the only really control that we have is in the present.